Right, our next story comes to us from Pakistan in Islamabad where the National Security Committee, which is the highest forum to discuss issues of national importance, including security, will be meeting today in the backdrop of the deepening political crisis across Pakistan. The top brass is going to be meeting to review security, economic, constitutional and political issues and how to deal with crises. The NSC is going to decide uh, in this meeting with intelligence chiefs what the next steps are. Uh, let's go over to my colleague Siddhant for more context. Siddhant, I, I believe the Prime Minister Shahbaz Sarif will be present there. All right, yes, we're showing visuals of him on our screens right now. He'll also, of course, have his cabinet ministers with him. Tell us more about this meeting, please. Well, that's right. This, uh, this particular meeting is very important. And as you rightly pointed out, this meeting has come against the backdrop of deepening constitution constitutional crisis in the country as the federal government has refused to accept Supreme Court's decision on Punjab elections. So look, uh, Election Commission in Pakistan uh, had announced uh, elections in the state of Punjab. The entire uh, border was suspended by the Supreme Court of Pakistan. Then National Assembly also condemned uh, the interference of the court. And this had perhaps led the situation uh, of a constitutional crisis in a country where consensus between the arms of of uh, all, uh, where consensus between executive, judiciary, and uh, cannot be cannot be worked out, and this is perhaps the reason that this meeting has been called today at uh, Shaiba Sharif's residence. And in fact, uh, the other message which Shaiba Sharif wants to give out is that, uh, that the intelligence community, uh, the top uh, uh, top brass from the intelligence community, the people who actually run the show. Are with him, and this is perhaps the reason that on one hand, he, one, on one end, he has invited all his political colleagues in government, his senior interior ministers, and in fact, the other senior ministers of his cabinet. On the other end, he has invited uh, the the real people, the people, those who really run the show in Pakistan, uh, uh, the the people from the intelligence community. Now, both these, uh, uh, you know, both these groups are going to meet today, Shabash Shahbaz's residence, to figure out a roadmap. Because uh, if consensus couldn't be built on a declaration of uh, elections of one state, then Pakistan is expected to uh, uh, to, to to go for a presidential poll uh, uh, this year. So I mean, uh, to to maybe to lay a roadmap for that, and also also in a way, efforts are being given so that the consensus could be built. Intelligence community at the same time, political uh, community can come closer and a consensus could be built so that in a smooth manner uh, things uh, uh, things take uh, developments take place also remember pakistan is cash strapped there are lot of other issues which the government in pakistan is unable to address the imf loans have also not been uh, not been uh, uh, dispatched yet the negotiations are going on so there are a lot of uh, already existing troubles now in these times if a country uh, has uh, has got a sense that uh, that uh, the leadership of the country has got a sense that the country is going ahead in a direction of constitutional crisis. Then the only thing left for Shahbaz Sharif right now is to bring intelligence community deep state along with him, and that is exactly what he is doing right now. Back to you. Okay, all right. Uh, thank you for bringing us that context. Uh, we'll move on to our next story now, Siddhant.